persuade you why you should pay attention for the next six minutes to a discussion about batteries, which if somebody told you you were going to come listen to batteries a few years ago, you would have been very surprised. But batteries are at the center of changing um, our, several of our major industries in this country. Both the auto industry and the utility industry have a chance to be revolutionized and changed by the use of batteries. And in particular, here we have an impact using batteries to make renewable energy real and something that um, actually will be green and will work and can be cost effective. And the challenge we have is how to make that happen. Um, the reason I know something about this is I'm at a firm called Boston Power, which is here in Westboro. Um, we make batteries for Saab test vehicles. We make batteries for utility energy storage. We make batteries for HP laptops. We think we make very good batteries. There are other people who make good batteries also. What I want you to understand today is why energy storage and batteries play a key role in that um, are something that really can make a difference. And I should also say that energy storage can be done a number of ways. Batteries are one of them. There are, uh, you can pump water up a hill, pump hydro, you can have compressed air, you can um, make ice at night and melt it during the day. There are other things that can be done, but batteries for both cars and for many utility purposes are the best way to do it. So the challenge we have with renewable energy today um, is that there are great opportunity. 29 states today require that the utilities be working over the next decade to adding up to 33% of their power coming from renewable energy. The challenge, however, is that those renewable sources are in many cases very unpredictable. You can't count on the wind, the sun can be blocked by the clouds, and if you're a utility, you have to deal with peak power. The question is, what do you do? And what they do now is you build, you have coal, you have, salt, you have uh, nuclear, you have gas plants, you have nuclear, which, you have uh, renewable energy plants, which you're required to do, but the trouble is they don't count for your capacity because you can't have them when the, pow when the power is needed and the peak loads are in the summer. And just to illustrate the problem, um, if you look at this, this is a chart that shows you the daily wind, the variations in daily wind in a town in South Central California last year um, over a course of 24 days. And you can see while the average is fairly steady, if you were trying to plan how you were gonna run a utility system, the wind makes it very difficult for you to count on that. Unless you have a system that lets you potentially store it, and then you can, and you can count on it and build on it. And this, um, this chart here gives you a flavor of the challenges that are happening. PJM is the world's largest wholesale market for electricity. It's the, uh, what's called the Regional Transmission Organization for states from Illinois to Maryland. And what this chart shows you is that the um, price, uh, the, the um, amount of wind that is produced, um, which is the blue ch chart on the left, varies dramatically, and its peak usage, its peak uh, production is at night. That's when the wind in much of the country is at the highest. And that is the time when, of course, energy usage is the lowest. And conversely, when energy usage is at peak, wind is at, wind is at its lowest. And the, ch the chart on the right shows that on this day, April 7, 2009, in this market, if you were a wind producer in the middle of the night, the utilities, you had to pay to get rid of your wind because utilities were running nuclear plants, they can't, they run at a certain percentage, they were running um, other uh, traditional plants at peak efficiency, and the challenge was literally, they didn't want the wind. But if you had a way to store it, you would then have a great opportunity. And what this chart shows you here is that if you can build uh, energy storage, you can take that off-peak energy which is being produced and use it to fill in during the peak period. And then therefore you don't have to build the extra plants. And that's the opportunity that energy storage op offers, because otherwise utilities have to build to the peak because they can't rely on, on renewable energy. In addition, if you care about electric cars, if you think car electric cars are part of the future of, Amer of the world in America, they are. But the challenge is that they also actually use electricity, both PHEVs such as the Volt, equivalent of five refrigerators, um, battery electric vehicles um, such as the Nissan Leaf will be the equivalent of 10 refrigerators. That's an additional drain on the system. And the question, so if you put those two things together, you then come to the challenge you have. And what the real idea is that electric cars are only as good as what the source of the power is. So, you know, if China went out and today and added all this power using their current methods, you would end up with a much dirtier China, even if everybody was using electric cars. And we have that same challenge, not only here and everywhere else. And the way you can do that is by um, spreading the 
energy storage around different communities, around your community, whether it's at the utility base, whether it's in the regional transmission areas, whether it's in your residential, your own building, whether it's in your cul-de-sac where you have a, a little uh, thing about this size that would um, serve five to seven homes, it would help serve the um, extra use that your, uh, community, your own neighborhood would have if you plug in your cars. Um, energy storage offers that opportunity there, um, but, it but it requires for it to happen. And the challenge right now is, with energy storage, you can make renewable real. Um, I, what the message I hope you would take from here today is that when you hear people talk about energy storage and it's being talked about in the 50 public utility commissions around the country, and you'll hear it being talked about, we're building batteries in Michigan, the country for the surplus stimulus program. That's all important and it's not something to tune out and go change the station. Please do what you can. A revolutionary idea is that batteries can make both renewable energy and electric cars real and green, and we care about that. Thank you.